G'day mates, Home Slice here, and welcome back to the council. We're up to part eight now, I think, and we just finished searching uh, Emily's room and having a chat to her. So let's not waste any more time and get straight to searching the other rooms. And of course, looking around for more elixirs and stuff. So who's this? Is it Napoleon Bonaparte? Ah, Napoleon. Oh, let's see what he has to say. We already searched his room, but may as well have another look. Now that the murder has happened, maybe there's like something new in here? I don't think this guy was in here before, but anyway. Yep, so I've already looked at that painting. Oh, here he is here, so we'll talk to him shortly. Yeah, we've already looked at the sword and the note there, and yeah, the hat there. What about in here, though? Or maybe... No, we can't go out on the balcony. What else do we have? Another thing there. Chess set, painting. Still nothing behind there. Ooh, what about this? There's just one holster in Bonaparte's gear, and the pistol is missing. On the other hand... His cleaning equipment is in mint condition. That's typical of the soldier in him. Okay. Well, maybe someone stole his, um, gun. Like, why would he want to kill him? Like, I don't know enough of the details to just say, oh, it was Napoleon who did it. Uh, but yeah, let's talk to him now. Monsieur de Richer, please be quick. We are both very busy. Uh, he was seen lurking around... Oh, I didn't know he was. Someone saw you not far from the victim's room. Can you tell me what you were doing exactly, please? I can tell you that someone is an idiot. I wanted to warn her to be careful. You see, on the night of my arrival, I saw someone leaving her room in haste. And I wanted to speak to her, to warn her. Unfortunately, the young lady slipped through my fingers each time. Now I know why. She had every reason to be worried. What an idiot I was not to insist. I could have helped her. Is he sincere? Did you recognize the prowler? Yeah, we'll do the psychology thing here. I've been studying him for a while now, and I don't think he was lying. Yet, I'm surprised how easy it was for me to read him. It must surely be his military side. I wish they all could be like that. My investigation would be finished already. Hmm, potentially. Did you hear about young Elizabeth? Indeed, it is deeply regrettable. Lord Mortimer asked me to... I know. You no doubt want to know my alibi. I spent the night downstairs playing cards. Did anything happen out of the ordinary? Until what time? Did anyone leave early? Who with? Yeah, that's probably most important. Can you tell me who was present at the game, please? Well, there were Lord Mortimer, President Washington, and Sir Gregory. Thank you. Ah, and His Eminence Piaget as well. Excuse me, I nearly forgot him. Poor soul. Didn't Washington tell us that he was doing something else? I can't remember. I thought he was up to something else, though. Uh, so may that could maybe be a lie, but I'm not sure. Um, and the time, that's important as well, because the clock was broken at 3.46, I think. Uh, but yeah, we'll ask that one last. Did you notice anything unusual during the evening? Nothing at all. Except the luck of the devil of Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory at cards. Did they win much? Oh, la la, monsieur, they cleaned us out more like. But I plan on getting it all back before we leave. I wonder what uh, card game they were playing. Did any of you leave during the game? Not that I know of, monsieur. I didn't exactly spend my time noting the other guests' comings and goings, but I don't think so. Thank you. Okay. What time did the game end? I can't say exactly. As for me, I must have stayed until midnight. I was exhausted, oh, couldn't think straight. So I preferred to go up to bed. On your way up to bed, 
Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, not in the least. The whole manor was sound asleep. <laughs> not really. No. Okay, then. Uh, does he own a pistol? He must. As any good soldier would, I imagine you own a firearm. May I see it? Oh, well, if you really want to, here is my pistol. Don't worry, it is not loaded. Do you have several of these? In Corsica, we, oui, but not on me when I am traveling. Only a bandit would carry such an arsenal. Thank you. All right, then. Well, have we finished, monsieur? Exactly. Thanks again for all your answers. Good day. All right, then. Next room. I don't really know what to take from that. Not much, really. Don't think he... Uh, I uh, really gave any more like new answers or anything. So that's oh, th that's this is the big guy's room. Haven't searched this one yet. Hopefully, there's some jelly in here. What do you want from me, Derishe? Greetings. It's fallen to me. Cut the crap. Get to the point. We both know why you're here. And have you got anything to tell me? What does it matter? It's too late anyway. Do what you have to do and get out. Uh, he doesn't look well. Search the room. Oh, I'm glad I have this. Yeah, he sounds a little distressed, doesn't he? It's never too late, sir. If you have something to say, now is the time. You don't understand. Everything's already written. It's over. Why is he behaving like the perfect culprit? What is it that's already written? I'm not sure I follow you. No. You don't. Okay, then. Nice decor for a revolutionary tribunal judge's room. All right. A Chinese coin. Cool. Oh, I got um, back up to two effort points now because we exploited his psychology vulnerability. We can open these two chests now. I don't want to do that just yet, though, there. The Massacre of the Innocents, but by Van Harlem. I think that Mortimer likes to play mind games with his guests. Mm, there might be um, more stuff to look at. I mean, I don't know about playing mind games with your guests. I just think that weird... Like, unless you have the knowledge on, like, what these paintings are, would you really even think about it? What's this? Why is this note in the... Does that say Imperial... No, Journal de Barris or something? I'm not sure. But, yeah, let's read this one. I don't know if we, we shall meet again. At this point in time, I am a prisoner, snared by my own decisions. You must be protected. My future is lost without you. You can still be saved. No matter how much bitterness you hold against me, you must know that I made a pact with the devil who I thought I could master. I thought I knew the monsters, but what I did for France is nothing compared to what they are capable of doing. Now I can't see any way out. The jaws are closing upon me. I love you now and forever. God, I wonder who that's from. That sounds pretty interesting. Can't go out on the balcony here either. Oh, nice, like bronze or like brass bathtub. Not very big though. Would he even fit in that? I'd be surprised if Louis would fit in that just if he was laying down. But do we have anything else here? We must. Yes. Dear friend. Please come and join us. We must meet about the ongoing operations in Paris. A boat will be waiting for you in Calais, and will take you to Dover in England. From there, a carriage will take you to the port of Tintagel, where a frigate will be waiting for you and other guests, so you can meet up with me on my island as quickly as possible. I await your arrival. Lord William Mortimer. Okay. What about this? Oh, another coin. Man, there are way too many golden elixirs. Why couldn't they be replaced with jellies? That'd be nice. Ooh, another book. Records of the police. Notes intended for the police lieutenant of Paris. It's a list of people under surveillance in Paris. And there's some well-known names on it. This is valuable information. This shouldn't be lying around. Oh, another... Ah, oh, we already discovered his... 
psychology vulnerability, but ah oh, well, I want to open these chests now. Yep, one for subterfuge. What about the other one? Maybe that cost two. A pattern with four circles. Use the key. Oh, we've got the key. Oh, sure. I don't know where I picked it up, but oh yes, awesome. Wait, that's like two golden elixirs, though, right? I don't need those. I'm writing to thank you for the funds you sent. These funds will be crucial for the renovation of the western wing of the orphanage. The children you sent are doing marvelously well, and little Pierre will soon be walking. Some of them still sometimes suffer nightmares about their parents on the scaffold, but I expect they will cease in due course. Should you decide to send us more, please note that another 20 beds will soon be ready. The children and myself will never thank you enough. Long live the Republic. Long live France. Sister Marie Allen. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Uh, probably talking about the golden elixirs, right? At least we got a cut. Oh, what the hell? We were like, oh, look, you can walk through the wood there. Uh, but yes, now this one. So what did I just get from that, actually? Damn, no jelly, but I've got Devil's Thorn and two Carmelite water, so that's pretty damn good. What do we got here, though? Great, honey. Oh, good. Royal jelly. So we got one p plus one point, but what do you have to say now? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Um, do you, oh, that's a zero cost. I found his letter. Has he still got his gun? I found his footprint at the scene. Oh, just gonna run, ask him right out the gate, I guess. Let's get right to it. Are you Elizabeth Adams' murderer? That is for you to prove, if I'm not mistaken, boy. You weren't expecting me to do all the legwork for you, were you? Lazy man. What sort of answer is that? He's immune to questioning? Like, it just makes him sound so guilty, but I feel like the game is, like, like, making that happen is, like, a bit of a cop act. Like, yeah, he's the killer. Uh, but, yeah, I'll ask all this stuff, and then I'll go for the manipulation option. I'd like to talk about the letter you're writing. What woman is it addressed to? Who says it's a woman? I'm not saying any more. There's no point you insisting. Oh, what? All right. Have you finished? Not quite. I'd like you to answer a few questions. Yeah, why did it just, like, do that? It just, like, forced me out of the conversation. I'm glad I'm able to talk to him again. I think just in case, I'll go for this one now, like, in case these ones kick me out of the conversation again. Two days ago... I surprised you having a go at Miss Adams. What happened? Did you want to give her another beating? She wouldn't let you push her around again, huh? Shut up, you little shit! You have no idea what happened, and here you are, carping away! You think you're investigator of the year. Have you taken a look at yourself, Dorisha? Didn't you get enough beating her black and blue the last time? I did not! Don't let him off. Continue. Um... I'm gonna continue. Why? Nothing. Get away from me. Just as soon as you stop treating me like I'm an idiot. If you wanted people to think you were guilty, you couldn't have done any better. So cut the bullshit and come clean now. I can't! He'll come for revenge. Who? No one! Just shut your trap, goddammit! Yes, I was there. Yes, I walked in her blood. You've got all you need to wrap it up. Now scram! He's not the killer. What? Okay, well, like I thought, he kicked us out. Shit, he's not the killer. He he is not the killer, just just from that alone. Like, I doubt he's the killer after that. Oh, he can't actually go down there. Well, we must have, like, a few rooms left to search then. I think we've still got to search the German guy's room. Or oh, maybe we can go up. I'll walk slow so I don't accidentally walk. Okay, we can go upstairs. I'm not sure who is up there, but yeah. Oh, no, we can't search that one. Who's this? 
yeah, this guy, Johan von Walmer. Okay, so there's some sort of plot going on here. At, with, at least with a uh, French guy, the big dude. Another book. Ooh, jelly. Good, I like. Want all the jelly I can bloody get. Oh, another book up here. The Sorrows of Young Werther. There's a handwritten text signed by Von Wonder on this first page. Ooh. Dear Elizabeth, I know that this book is but a small token compared to the delightful moments you gave me, but I hope that this will nonetheless keep the memory alive. Your ever obedient servant. So, Volner had a relationship with Elizabeth, but that's hardly surprising given his fondness for the occult. Uh, we don't have anything else for that? Okay. Well, what else, what else do we have here? Painting? A table of alchemical symbols. Someone circled the zinc symbol. Wonder what for. Search. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, those look, they could be jellies down there. I'm gonna use this. Golden elixir. Ah, uh, oh, really? The worst one? Golden elixir? Fuck me. A chest locked with a four letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Um. Okay. Z. O. I. L. Second one. Oh. Another one of these. Use knowledge. Occultism. Wow. Oh, I could do that though. With the Carmelite water. Third letter. No, I'm going to, like, have a look around for some notes and stuff. Maybe talk to him, and then, um... The alchemist is a young man. Then, uh, try that again, because I'd rather save the Carmelite water. Can I look at this note? No. Okay. Well, what do you have in here, buddy? Open chest there. Amber crystals. Ooh, good. The alchemist is an old man. Um, oh, I guess he fancies himself some sort of alchemist, or maybe he is one. We can't search his thing there. Another coin. Damn, those are some big boots. Well, nothing else to do apart from talk to him, so let's talk to him. What can I do for you, Duriche? Monsieur, Lord Mortimer has appointed me to investigate the tragedy that befell us last night. Oh, yes. It's horrible. Yes. How can I help, Monsieur? Learn more about her tattoos. Where was he last night? I know they had a relationship. Where were you last night? In my room. I read a few ancient manuscripts before going to bed. But I didn't stay up long. I was tired. Thank you kindly. That's it? Okay. Excuse me for asking, but did you know Miss Adams? Oh, she... Uh, not really, to tell the truth. No. I found the Werther dedication, signed by your hand, monsieur. Would you like to change your version now? Be careful, Duriche. Don't push your luck. My relationship with Miss Adams was pure. And has nothing to do with you. Well, continue playing the detective as you see fit. But if I find the bastard who did that to Elizabeth, I will... Yes! I would have preferred a simple response, but I see I have my answer now. Oh, nature of relationship. Was your relationship over? Do you love her? How long did it last? Well, I've got two free ones here, so we'll go for this one first. I get the impression that your romance was over. Am I right? So? What does it matter to you? I would never have attacked her, if that's what you're insinuating. Who put an end to the relationship? You or her? It was her. It was her. But what does that matter? We both agree. Oh, some people take up... Uh, take breakups quite badly, but... I don't know, I don't think... He killed her. I guess we'll continue asking questions. Exactly how long had you been seeing her? I have no reason to answer you. 
I see. Is that what you want me to tell Lord Mortimer when he asks what I found out? It's... it's only been a few weeks. Alright, do you love her, the nature of your relationship? Uh, well, I guess I'm... God damn it. Unless, if one of these is a vulnerability, I really hope one of them is, or this one, because I'm going to go for this one. Um, I really hope it's a vulnerability so I can ask both, but yeah, let's go for this one. You loved her, didn't you? That is none of your damn business. Your feelings betray you, sir. So far, yes. I loved her like a moth loves the flame of a candle. That's why we could never be together. Damn it, that's it. Oh, well. That's all we got. We finished. I'll have a look around and then take my leave. Do whatever you have to do. Alright, now this bloody code thing here. A chest locked with a four-letter code. Surely a word close to the owner's heart. Maybe it's zinc, because it's... It is. It's going to be zinc, because it's circled. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's going to be zinc. I'm glad I didn't waste my calm light water. Theatrum Chemichum. What the hell is that? One of these books, I guess. Uh, yeah, this one. One point in occultism. All right, well, hopefully that's useful at some point. Yeah, that's all we've uh, got to search in here. I'm pretty sure we've been through all the rooms now. No, we've still got a few more, I think. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there were some that I couldn't search, though. Can I go down these stairs? No. But I can still go back upstairs. So if there are no more rooms here, then I assume we're going to be done. Who's... Oh, whose is this room? Or is this the portrait room? I think it might be the portrait room. Oh, no, it's her room. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure I've done a full circle then. If I'm back at her room. And I'm pretty sure the first one we've got here is Washington's room. Yeah, we've already talked to him. I've searched all the rooms. We can't go downstairs, so let's... I assume we just go report to Mortimer and see what he has to say. See what we have to report. I don't know, like, what to go on, though. I don't think... I just don't have enough of a... Who is that? Oh, that's Walner. I don't have enough of a solid lead or enough evidence against anyone to, like, implicate them yet. So, if I have the choice, like, I'm not going to say, like, X person is the murderer. But yeah, let's head up. Well... Let's go and speak to him. Oh, a little bloody nervous about it, but yeah, let's see what happens. Ooh, nice, jelly. Uh, who's he writing? I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. I'm listening, Louis. Uh, remind me of the facts we already know. I don't have a culprit, though. Will you remind me of the facts we already know about? Elizabeth Adams was killed last night. But Piaggi was with Holm and I until late at night. As for Bonaparte and Washington, they left us after midnight, both tired. That's it? I don't have a culprit. Am I really supposed to accuse someone with this little evidence I have? Seriously, I feel like that's like such poor writing, if that's the case. No way. I don't... well, I, I've got to do it, I guess. I believe I've identified the murderer. Really, Louis? All right, then. Please, think carefully before you give me your answer. This is a very, very serious accusation. I must think it through. Oh, I'll go for this one first and see if it maybe changes anything. I'm going to need a bit more time to review my findings about the crime. I do understand. 
All the more so, as it's crucial not to make any mistakes when it comes to naming the culprit. Okay, that's... I guess I just gotta... God, honestly, I don't... I'm gonna... I'm going to just... Have a random guess at Washington. I don't think it was... Let's look at the characters. Uh, journal... Emily, George Washington, so that's Piagi, Bonaparte, home. Yeah, it's not him. Like, he didn't murder her. Walnut, it's... God damn it. Well, she's dead. Uh, William Mortimer. The only ones I could think of it being is Walnut. Or Washington, but I don't think Walner did it, like, just based off his emotions when we were talking to him. I don't think he did it. I'm, uh, and I'm pretty sure, like, most of these ones here, like, have alibis, and I don't think it was this guy either. I'm just going to go for Washington. Screw it. I have, like, a... I've come to speak about the findings of the investigation, my lord. Yes, yes, yes. I just have a like I'm listening, Louis. a hunch that it's Washington. I believe I've identified the murderer. Really, Louis? All right then. Please think carefully before you give me your answer. This is a very, very serious accusation. I wonder if I click on it's one of the female guests. I wonder if I could say if it's our mother or not, but I don't want to do that just in case. I'm just going to go for Washington. Wait, he's not... He's not... an option. Why? My mother, Elizabeth Adams herself. No, it wouldn't be that, would it? Stabbed it. There was, like, clearly... a struggle of some sort in that room I like unless she was possessed by a demon and destroyed the room herself wait that is a thing that she's done though but stabbing yourself like nine times I think it was or no it's not Emily <sighs> I was going to say Walnut uh, Washington above all, then Walner, but then I had that thought about mother, but now that this option's here, Elizabeth Adams herself, I just don't think she'll do it. I don't think she'll do it. I don't think it's that. Oh, this is shit. Napoleon... Piagi. I'm pretty sure Piagi. No, he wasn't. What alibis does Piagi have? Where is it here? Uh, oh, I can't actually, like, see. <sighs> Shit, I don't know anymore. Th I'm pretty sure... I've found every piece of evidence, and I don't know which one to go. God, I wish that parrot would shut up. Mother, it's not Emily, Elizabeth Adams herself. Uh, now I'm sort of thinking it could be Piagi, because I'm not sure... If he has an alibi or not. And maybe he has some sort of ulterior motive, but I just can't remember every tiny little detail. Uh, but I don't think it was Walner. I think he really is, like, sad that she's dead. Napoleon, I'm pretty sure, had the alibi, like he was playing cards. I'm just gonna go with Piagi. Fuck this, then. I... 
I really hope I don't get this wrong, but chances are it's going to be wrong. I'm going to accuse Piagi. Let's do it. I I think it's Piaggi. What? You think it could have been Cardinal Piaggi who killed her? The wounds are not very deep. It's my firm conviction he gave me false leads. Did he? I can't remember. I haven't played for two days. I can't remember exactly what he said. Oh, this... Uh, maybe I should have, like, re-watched my own video or something, but... The wounds weren't very deep, and he is quite old, so he wouldn't be able to stab as deep as other people. Like, saying it's my firm conviction just sounds like bullshit. Gave me false leads. I can't remember if he gave, gave me false leads or not, so the only one I can go for is this. The Cardinal is no longer a young man, and the wounds on Elizabeth's body are shallow. He's probably the assassin. An interesting deduction, but according to that logic, a woman might also be the culprit. Anything else? That's true. Um, but I doubt it was Emily... And my, but my other suspect was mother, but like after f hearing about her past with Adams, I don't think she would just murder her. She would like want to talk to her and like see what the go is. His eminence was of no help. He even gave me information that turned out to be false. Well, Louis, that doesn't authorize you to accuse him of murder. Besides, he spent the best part of the night with Holm and myself. He has a solid alibi. Louis, I'm afraid this is simply not sufficient. This is a serious accusation. I need concrete evidence. There is none. Why I am taking over this case as of now. Right. It's time we spoke about your mother, Louis. She isn't missing. She's in hiding. She does it often. I think she's hiding. She seems to be making every effort to steer clear of your guests. What, what do you mean? For the past few weeks, my mother's been playing cat and mouse, if you will. I don't know why, but it wouldn't surprise me to learn that she's trying to avoid someone. The question is, who? And in your opinion, would she be the cat or the mouse? Oh... I'm going to go for the mouse. I'd like to answer the cat, but unfortunately I'm increasingly worried that she's, in fact, the mouse. Mm, that doesn't make me feel any better, Louis. What was the official reason why my mother came to your island? I knew about your mother's activities and yours in the Golden Order. I thought we had everything to gain by working together. You mean the cannon deal with Monsieur Bonaparte? Among others, yes. How did you hear about that? Monsieur Bonaparte came to speak to me about it yesterday, during lunch. I see. So impetuous. He was supposed to let me speak to you about it first. Our friend Napoleon desperately needed financial backing to properly equip his army. I took it upon myself to back him, because I have a firm conviction that he can go far. We shall see. However, there's one thing that surprises me. Did my mother sell arms? Why help a lieutenant? Did she sell arms? I don't even know anymore, like, where to go with this. Did my mother intend to finance a war? I'm not sure that I follow. No, your mother's aim was not so much to partake in a war, but rather to make Monsieur Bonaparte accountable. France is in turmoil, and having support of a military man can often come in handy, Louis. You'll see. Once this deal was closed, I had big plans for Sarah. Such as what? You see, I've invited several influential figures on my island to present them with a project at the conference. It will be presented later today. I thought that the Golden Order had a role to play. And I still think so. I was hoping Sarah would be able to join us. Hmm. I see. Indeed, if by chance your mother decided not to return to us, before the conference, would you do me the great honor of attending? 
if only to follow the deliberations while waiting for her to duly take her seat. Why not? We shall see. Ah, thank you so much. In this way, you'll be able to keep your mother informed of what is said. Um, there's something else I'd like to briefly go over. Earlier, you asked me the official reason for your mother's presence here. Is there an off-the-record reason why your mother came here? Sh I have no idea. She was looking for a buyer. I, yeah, I have no idea. If only my mother had trusted me, but she remained very mysterious. I'd have been delighted to answer your question. Is this usual for her? As head of the order, secrets are her bread and butter, as you can imagine. That said, it's the first time she hasn't let me in on the reason for her trip. And it intrigues me, to tell you the truth. Well, I am sure that Sarah will explain everything once she reappears. There's something I still don't get. In your opinion, why would your mother remain in hiding over several weeks? She's wary of someone. She's lost her mind. She might have discovered something. I think she's wary of someone. Her not coming back to the manor after so long makes me wonder if she is wary of someone. Well, certainly. But whom? The only ones who were present during her stay were Sir Gregory, Duchess Hillsborough, Mr. Von Volner, and myself. <sighs> Adams was here as well. Yeah, she was. You forget Elizabeth Adams, my lord. That's true. But Gregory and I arranged it so that they wouldn't run into each other. I, I thought it had worked. Do you think that your mother felt she was in danger because of Elizabeth? It's possible. The only thing I can tell you is that Sarah had indeed changed. At the beginning of her stay here, we enjoyed spending time together, solving the world's problems. Enough about her. What of her disappearance? Why? Uh, what did you speak about? Yeah, you know, what of her disappearance? Tell me. Tell me about her disappearance. Since she disappeared, your mother has been seen once. Her behavior on the evening of your arrival greatly surprised Gregory and myself. She resurfaced to attack Emma, Emily Hillsborough's twin sister. And she shot her with a pistol. Then, before Gregory could intervene, she ran off and disappeared again. I beg your pardon? Hang on. That means my vision on the wharf, it, it was actually happening inside the manor. Yeah. She shot Emily's sister? The very person she came looking for? Why would she do that? Excuse me, but between that and the childhood of Lady Adams, it's, it's all a bit much for me to cope with. I need to piece it all together again to see things more clearly. You said that you spent a lot of time talking together at the beginning. What happened for that to change? I'm afraid I, I haven't much to tell you. The more the days went by, the more she withdrew into herself. She never gave me an explanation. Until the day came when she purely and simply disappeared. Where, where did she go when she wanted to be alone? She would shut herself away in a room we use as a box room upstairs. W would you allow me to go there? Naturally, Louis, of course. I'll send you a servant to open it. Thank you. That's all I can tell you about the disappearance of your mother, Louis. I would like to have been more helpful. I shall stay on her trail and follow up any leads. Thank you. Uh, we will meet later on to welcome our last guest. In the meantime, I shall get someone to open the box room upstairs for you. Thank you. I don't know what the hell's going mm. on. The room is just opposite Mortimer's study. Opposite his study. Does that mean I have to go back up? No, I can't. If that really happened, like, she walked in and shot um, Emily's sister, how didn't Holm just, like, subdue her? Whose room is this? Oh, this is it? Oh, okay, it is. Right. Oh, some jelly. Honey, the remedy of the gods. Yes. There are burnt papers in the chimney. 
How did she get away after she a legible fragment left? Shot her. I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Well, Napoleon has Who a sword. Be suspicious of. I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize her love of riddles there. Okay. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. What is this disc? Yeah. Observe the disc. Take it. I'm just going to observe it. Oh, that reminds me of the ones my mother collects. It's magnetic. Must be useful for something. Yeah, we'll take it. So I need to consult my notes. Sort Oh, nice, another Carmelite water. Can't go in there. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Okay. Oh, I remember the story. Examine the painting. The myth of St. Paul is well known. I'm just going to examine it. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Okay. I don't know if examining it will reveal anything, so I'll just leave it at that. I don't want to consult my notes yet either. Ooh, what's this? Coin. What do we have in this part of the room? Oh, it's locked. Why can't we go in there? The door there? appears to be locked on the other side. Leave the door open. Is the same thing gonna happen? Oh. I think I heard something fall to the ground. Use a the metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. Yeah, use the disc. Well, we'll see if it works. Sweet. Didn't need to use any effort points. Any more effort points. Why didn't they unlock this door for me? What it's open. What could be in here? Cool little thing on the wall there with a the deer. Oh, that's a cool painting too. Oh, we can't examine that one. That's one I've liked so far. Oh, that's a locked chest of some sort. The New Testament. Oh God, this is a lot. Uh, let's go through them all. Ah, the Bible is famous. A Gutenberg Bible. Maybe Wollner's Bible? I don't know. This book is incredibly precious. I believe this is the book my mother referred to when calling upon the Lord. Okay. So this volume dates from the first edition of Gutenberg. It's the first book that was ever printed. The pages are covered in annotations in Latin, French, and Hebrew. Someone spent years studying this Bible. What is it? A volume of the Gutenberg Bible. That's it? Read. Uh, Epistles of Paul. Oh god, this is a lot. Jesus, okay. Oh my god, there's this too. I am not going through all this. This is way too much. It's like... It expands and expands and expands. Epistles. Oh, yeah, that's way too much. I guess I'll just come back later. God, I hope that thing isn't, like, crucial with... Ooh. Oh, damn it. No, 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 no. I saw this thing here. Another coin. Yeah, I hope it's not crucial for a puzzle or something. I don't want to go through all those damn verses. What do I know about the Apostle? Observe. It's St. John. Painted by Guido Rini. What about this one? Another book? Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Rini. It looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Did we have fin fingerprint technology back then? I don't think so. Oh, it's full. Observe. Painting of St. Mark. In the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. 
Wow, this Guido guy did a lot of impressive paintings. Amber crystals. Oh, yes. More effort points. Hope I get a free restore soon. Because I am bloody low. And we got this chest here. A chest with the occult symbol representing air. Use the key. Pick both locks. Use the right key. Well, I'm just going to sack a Carmelite water for this. Ooh, a golden elixir. And amber. Yeah, inventory's full, because golden elixirs are bloody everywhere. For whatever reason. But yeah, let's consult notes now. She says, we must find a safe way to trust in my faith in the man with the sword. Well... I'm pretty sure Napoleon's the only one with a sword, like, that we've examined. Oh, wait, we can't actually leave. So I assume there's something in this room that we have. Maybe I need to read that book after all. Oh, no, we got this. St. Paul painted by Guido Reni. Yeah, same guy. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Ah. Strange. There's hardly any dust. As if the painting's been cleaned recently. It was just... There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Just placed there. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting. And underlined it twice. I don't know, what does that mean? I have no clue. Sum up the information... Think about the secret code. I'll sum up the information. So we have the figure 11 twice underlined. And a story of a group of pilgrims who it looks like Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere. And it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure maybe? In the... This book over here verse 11 maybe and pilgrims or something uh apostles pastoral epistles and the book of revelation maybe it's in here the gospel um was it saint john uh no i need like 11 13 22 oh maybe like, two elevens is twenty-two, so maybe it's this. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. Okay. That didn't give us anything. St. John. Uh, we just read that one. Verse 11, maybe it's this one. Then they suborned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. Okay, I will... F this one's went on long enough, and I feel like I could be standing like at this book for ages and this painting for ages. So um, I'll end this one here so it doesn't go on too much longer, and we'll figure all this out in the next one, and hopefully the story... Uh, progresses a bit further and we get a bit more information about like how mother's missing and all that but anyway peace in the middle east and may all your games be good ones